Right now, I'm at Silkara Barkot Tunnel where rescue works are going on in full swing. After 40 workers who were working in the tunnel were uh, trapped following a section of the uh, tunnel collapsing because of a cavity uh, and blocking around 60 meters of the area. So far, one third of that, which is around 20 meters uh, of area has been cleared and uh, heavy excav excavator machines have been deployed which are removing the debris and filling them uh, and loading them onto trucks to remove the debris from uh, from the tunnel and clear the way for the uh, for those stranded to be rescued so the heavy excavator machines are removing the debris and loading them on trucks like these as you can see there is a truck coming out filled with debris and they are using heavy excavator machines for that. These are the trucks coming out from the tunnel. The workers have been trapped inside. One of the major challenges faced was to ensure a continuous oxygen supply because uh, so th these are the machines which supply oxygen when the workers are working but this was broken because uh, as, uh, because a section of uh, the tunnel collapsed and kind of uh, bro broke a continuous supply. Uh, as an alternate method to provide uh, oxygen uh, the rescuers are using uh, the, the the pipes used for a water for the water supply. So as you can see, these are the this is the oxygen machine machine, and we are using these pipes, uh, th those metal pipes, to, to to make sure that the oxygen can reach inside. These same pipes are also used to provide food uh, using uh, pr using pressure, and uh, they are also using. Uh, these pipes to establish uh, communication to uh, communication with those uh, stranded inside